what I want to share with you today in front of this lovely fireplace on this cold winter day is something I've been struggling with a little bit. And I want to share with you because I think it's important. It's an important reminder how impactful something really small can truly be. So I was struggling with not remembering to be grateful. I know that sounds strange. <laughs> but in order to keep a positive mindset, to remind myself of everything that I have to be thankful for, I keep a gratefulness log. And I will admit that I, I let that fall to the wayside a little bit. And I picked it up again about four or five months ago. And ever since I picked it up again, keeping my gratefulness log, at least making an effort once a week to reflect on the week, what I learned and what I have to be thankful for, I've noticed a huge change in my life. And I wanted to share that with you. Because sometimes it's the smallest little things that make a really big difference. If you are like me, you might struggle sometimes to find the positivity in life. It's easy to allow little things to get you down, or even big things to get you down. <laughs> there's a lot in life that challenges us, and there's a lot in life that we have to be thankful for. But much of it we overlook. We take it for granted. And just to give you an example, Every morning before I get out of bed, I give thanks for being able to sleep in a comfortable bed. Yes, I do that. And there's a specific reason for it. Because oftentimes we take so much for granted, we forget how truly blessed we are. And I was struggling for a while not really having the most positive mindset that I, I knew I could have. I, I knew I could have a better mindset and I, I didn't really understand why I was struggling so hard with that. And why I was allowing little things to get to me and why I was focusing so much on negative because I know logically that there's a lot I have to be thankful for and a lot of positivity in my life. But when I picked my, when I started my gratefulness log again, I started noticing a difference. Not only in my mindset, which is tremendously important, but also in the opportunities I was presented in my life and am presented in my life. Because I was being grateful and realizing that the, the small things that irritated me were pretty small. And by and large, I had so much to be grateful for. And even those challenges that sometimes really irritate the crap out of us are actually oftentimes great learning experiences and allow us an opportunity to grow. But there was also something else going on, something else much deeper, much more powerful. Suddenly, I noticed that I started having more connections with my friends than I did before and suddenly uh, my business was growing and suddenly I started having more client referrals and and suddenly I was just in general receiving much more positive energy from my life. Now some of you are probably thinking that's a little woo-woo. I'm not sure I can buy onto that. And that's, and that's fine. That's, that's perfectly fine. It's not based in data. And, and I'm a Lean Six Sigma black belt, and I believe in data. So the only data point I have is the most significant change that I've made is my mindset. And how I'm able to maintain that positive mindset is by keeping a gratefulness log. So take that for what it's worth. I will say this, that the number one critical factor in your success, whether you enjoy positivity in your life or your career 
or your relationships? It has to do with your mindset first. So think about that. Maybe you've resisted journaling in the past. I won't say that keeping a gratefulness log is for everybody, but it's been tremendously helpful for me, particularly in this fast pace, gotta have everything right now, being bombarded by information society. So I hope this helps you. And it's something that I'm reflecting on right now that I, I find is truly amazing just how something so small can make such a big difference.